Given that f prime of x is increasing for x less than 0 and decreasing for x greater than 0, which graph or graphs to the right could be of f of x? Okay, so this one is tricky. Nuanced. Nuanced, I think, is the right word. So when they're saying that f prime of x is increasing, what they're saying is f prime prime of x is greater than 0 for x less than 0, and f double prime of x less than 0 for x greater than 0. So this is talking about concavity here. Given that f prime of x is increasing, they're not saying positive, they're saying increasing. So that's kind of like when you're thinking about uh, slope too. So if you said f of x is increasing, you'd think, oh, positive slope, which would mean that the derivative is positive. Well, they're talking about um, increasing or slope when they're already talking about f prime of x. So this goes to um, f double prime of x. So f double prime of x is greater than 0 for x less than 0. So this one, this one. And f double prime of x is less than 0 for x greater than 0. So this one or that one. So it's right here, number 3. And the way I do concavity, like visually, is I do like the hold water idea. It's like, well, okay, would this hold water? And you'd be like, no, it'd fall off this way. Okay, that's true. It's because there's an inflection point right there. But if you mirrored this to the other side, then yes, it would. If you mirrored this one to the other side like that, then the water would run off. And if it can't hold water, then it's concave down. If it can hold water... Then it's concave up. So concave up, concave down, and the answer for this one would be number three. And that's how you would do this problem. Analyze it by um, looking at the wording. Uh, you do kind of get tricky phrases, and you have to pay attention to those. So that's how you do this kind of problem.